Hi, I'm Danny Glover, and you're watching Joe Berg Today. Hello and welcome to Joe Berg Today. My name is Dumi Tlapo, bringing you the best of what's going down in and around Johannesburg. It's that time of the year again where the mayor is set to deliver the State of the City Address. In his last State of the City Address, former mayor of Johannesburg, Park Stau, spoke about key issues around the state of Johannesburg's affairs, as well as highlighted some of his team's achievements. Let us take a quick look back at what happened at last year's address. Mayor Park Stau earlier today held the State of the City Address at Turfentain Racecourse. In his speech, he highlighted the key issues around the state of Joburg Affairs along with the achievements. Madam Speaker, in 2011, at the start of the current term of office, we convened nine weeks of intensive, open conversation with the citizens of this city. We asked you as residents and stakeholders in this city to help us imagine the best possible Joburg of 2040 and to understand the choices we have to make to get there. The result was the Growth and Development Strategy, Joburg 2040, a covenant between you, the citizens of this great city, and your city administration. And in this Joburg, the new economic democracy is rising. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Looking back, we look back with great pride um, as a collective, as an MMC of, MMC of Finance, uh, and, and working together with the mayor and my colleagues uh, on how far we've come. And I think the mayor today articulated the sorts of things that we've done. I'm Paul Mashoko for Joburg today. I'm John Tarod and you're watching Joburg Today. Like us on Facebook, JoburgToday.tv and follow us on Twitter at Joburg Today. This year's State of the City Address will take place tomorrow and will be delivered by a new mayor and a new dispensation at the brand new 280 million rand council chambers in Johannesburg. This state-of-the-art council chamber will seat 361 council members and has a full view of the Theatre Park and Joburg Theatre. The chamber is the first phase of a broader future redevelopment plan for the metro centre and is said to be the catalyst for the revitalisation and urban renewal of the precinct. One of the biggest challenges facing the new mayor is dealing with corruption within city management. In a recent interview, Mayor Herman Mashaba chatted to Nashina about pursuing corruption charges based on allegations regarding the previous administration. Let's take a look back at what he had to say. Since you've taken up office as the mayor, we've been hearing from you uh, over a period of time about uh, you pursuing corruption charges based on allegations, investigations uh, with the previous administration. How is that progressing? Well, uh, from our side, uh, as you are aware, I've set up uh, the forensic uh, unit led by a capable, uh, committed civil servant, uh, General Sibia, and uh, he's been doing a fantastic job. But I'm sure you heard last week I had to go to iPad because iPad in Pretoria because uh, so many cases that we've handed over the, the, for prosecution where General Ntlebeza had given instructions to the officials no longer to pursue cases of corruption within the city unless they come to his attention. So I've laid to criminal charges and I'm going to pursue those cases, uh, those charges of uh, defeating the ends of justice because um, no one official has got the right to can stop criminal uh, acts being uh, pursued, pursued in the city of Johannesburg. That is not going to happen under my watch. So I will be pursuing these matters. IPED has given me the assurance that some of the cases they're going to take over themselves, but some of them they, will, they are going to engage uh, uh, National Prosecuting Authority to understand why those cases are not pursued. Mayor Mashaba, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to hearing more from you. Thank, thank you, you very much for this opportunity as always. Hi, this is Matata James and you're watching Joe Rick today. And that's all for today. Be sure to keep a close eye on us for full coverage on the State of the City Address 2017. From myself, Dumit Lapo and the Joe Rick Today crew, it's goodbye.